Amy Olson's smile wasn't always as bright and cheerful as it was on this day. Last year, she suffered a season-ending injury. These injuries are far too common in competitive sports. Athletic trainers are there to support their athletes both physically and emotionally. Our athletic training involves going to classes on like more on the educational side. We also have a clinical side which we deal with different sports teams. We have contact sports and non-contact sports. We want to prevent any kinds of injuries that we have. So I have a lot of girls that will wear braces that had previous injuries. And it's the same with every sport. We get water ready, prevent injuries. We do a lot of first aid, especially with football, things of that sort. I play hockey at St. Cloud State on the women's team. Last season, in the, I think it was the sixth game of the year, I just went into the boards funny and tore my VMO, which is on my quad muscle on my knee. So I had surgery and was out all of last season. It's definitely like the mechanism of injury and how she went into the boards. The best way to prevent injuries would be just uh, you know strengthening and um, just not putting themselves in that particular player moment. I know it's you're not going to know when that is, but uh, I think just strengthening ultimately would be the best way to prevent. We sit down with them, we tell them what's wrong, um, and then I feel like if they understand it, they're more likely to adhere to their rehab because um, they understand what's wrong with them and what needs to be done. I would do a lot of one leg squats and just like strengthening. So my legs shrunk a lot, so it was just like I had to get it back just to functioning normal walking again and then eventually running. Amy committed herself to getting healthy, but she will never forget the pain that benched her for the rest of the season. Not being able to do stuff and like not being able to travel with my team and not being able to just like do daily functions was really frustrating for me. And, um, there's a time when I was just kind of got like really down and my PT said that's normal that that a lot of people um, It's kind of like not depression, but just like frustration, I guess so I experienced a lot of that But um, like I said, my team was really awesome about it. So they helped me get through it SESU athletic trainers offer the care and support student athletes need to recover and ultimately prevent injuries At St. Cloud State we have two main athletic training rooms one is here in Helen Beck Hall and then in the hockey center is another athletic training room. We have our ultrasound units, our electric stim units, we have ice baths and heat are all in there. So far this season it's a lot of flexibility just because it was like a muscle instead of like a tendon or a bone. Especially the injured girls are icing every single day, if not before and after, at least after practice. And even the healthy girls will take ice baths once or twice a week just after hard days of practice to help them get through the next day. Our trainer has been really awesome. We actually got to have her for two years, so she was here the whole time and I really got to know her. If we need anything, whether it's physical or emotional, she's really good with rehabilitating us and being there for us. For Amy, lacing up her skates again makes all the hardships worthwhile. It's been kind of a, um, a struggle a little bit just getting back and playing competitively. Uh, I didn't really realize, I guess, like how much you miss like the fast pace of the game and um, sitting out a year does take a lot, but um, I've been, I've had a lot of supportive teammates and supportive coaches and understanding and they've helped me to get back to where I need to be and right now I'm starting to finally feel like I'm playing like myself again.